Hey everybody, thank you for joining me today. So, uh, Rosnay and I have been trying to interview each other. Well, I've been trying to interview Rosnay for, I think we tried three different times now, and we continually had some audio issues and sounded like really bad foreign films and um, a couple times it's cut out between our conversation. We had some really good stuff. We were really excited to share it for you with you, but hopefully we'll get another chance in the future. Um, meanwhile, because I think Roz is <laughs> tired of the process and uh, to save both of us from throwing our laptops out of the uh, window, although I'm sure she would be willing to try again. I thought that uh, we'll just do something a little different. I'll just talk about her book with you and tell you how great it is and um, because it really is. So Rosne, she's also a BC author like me. She lives in Nelson. Uh, she's not originally from here though. She is from the UK, so she has a fabulous accent, which makes everything she says, I think, sound more interesting. This is her book. It's Our Little Secret. It has already come out in Canada and it hit two bestseller lists, the Toronto Star and the Globe and Mail. It will be released in the US April 24th. So very soon, perfect spring reading. It's dark and mysterious and moody. Um, before it was even published, it won a Douglas Kennedy Award in France and Roz was sent to Paris, which was uh, very exciting for her. And also I felt happy watching from the outside because I had a very special feeling about Roz's book when it was first sent to me by her agent for a blurb. I get sent a lot of books, but I can't always read them all. And so sometimes I'll just read the first chapter and, and see if I connect. And, you know, it's not necessarily anything about the writing. Sometimes it's just where I am in my life or what I'm working with on my book, whether I can, you know, take on somebody else's style or somebody else's voice. Um, Roz's style and voice is very distinct. It's um, literary, you know, but, but still very tight pacing. Her sentences are beautiful. And I knew from the very first chapter that this was something. I was like, whoa, she, this is good. You know, I think she really knows what she's doing. So I kept writing or reading. And then I, I wrote her agent because one of the main characters in this book, his name is HP. And he is this most amazing combination of surfer boy and boy next door. And then he grows up to be a very, very interesting man. So, uh, I wrote to her agent and I was like, uh, I have a crush on this character. He's amazing. And then I was so excited to get back to this book all the time. And I read it and it's got this fabulous twist at the end. And I think, I think I read it in like maybe two or three days. It was incredible. And, uh, so I was very happy to see when, you know, I gave it a blurb obviously right away. And so have a few others, Mary Kubica, uh, Karma Brown, uh, it's, it's going to do very well in the States. I, I like to pride myself on that. I have a good feeling. I, I have good instincts for predicting and I, I see good things with this one. I wasn't shocked when, you know, it got two starred reviews, which is they're hard to get. And, uh, especially for a debut author. So very proud of her. She's also just a great person. We've become friends. Uh, you know, she's really humble and really sweet and funny as heck. So that's all the things I, and you know, and plus she's like talented, you know, not to gush about her. She would never say these things about herself. So I can gush about her, but, um, you know, she plays drums. She's traveled all over the world. She's lived in Australia and other countries. She was a diver in Africa and counted fish. <laughs> like what? She can name, like, I think she told me like, I can't remember 30 species of fish or 25. I mean, I didn't, I couldn't tell you. It's like a uh, salmon, uh, Nemo. Like, so I thought that was really cool. Um, she also snowboards. Like, I mean, she was a teacher. So basically she's way cooler than me. It's just, I like to be friends with people like that. Cause I feel like, you know, maybe it just level, it levels me to like a new standard just by hanging out with so much coolness, you know, anyway, her book. So cool. And I'm really sorry you didn't get to see us talking because as we have a lot of fun and I would like to have shared that with you, but 
hopefully in the future. Meanwhile, you can download excerpts of this book online. Uh, I've seen lots of interviews coming out, lots of bloggers are doing some stuff about this one, lots of giveaways. Uh, we're going to be sharing some, some written interviews I've done with her, seeing as how we can't seem to get the verbal ones going. Uh, but we have the same US publishers, which, hey, before I started chatting, chatting up this one, I didn't even know that. So, you know, no bias there. there. Our publishers are going to be giving away five copies of her book and five copies of mine. You'd probably rather hers. It's really good. So please comment in the link uh, underneath this video, but make sure that you have an email attached to your YouTube account. Or I can't email you. I can't let you know that you won. Um, I will write under the comments. I will, will mention who the winner is in a week. So you can f please check back and find out. I'll also mention it on Facebook. I'll put your name there, but um, just check back under here as well. I don't want to miss anybody. It's open to the US and Canada. Um, sorry for the rest of the countries, but uh, it's only our publisher. So it, uh, they just want to keep it within North America. And we're really excited about that. Now, also, please subscribe to my channel, Shabby Stevens Under the Hood. I'm hoping, and I will, be doing a lot more giveaways. Uh, some publishers are sending me some books, and I want to share this to you. And I'm only, at, you know, getting in touch with publishers of books that I've read that I really believe in. So, you know, this isn't a review site. I'm not going to critique books because I don't believe in that. I think if I don't like a book, if it didn't connect with me, you know, you might still like it. But I am only going to share and talk about and give away books that I really thought were awesome. It really spoke to me and hopefully you'll give them a chance too. And I think it's a nice way to check out some authors you might not have heard about before. Um, and there you go. You know, that's what we're all here for is to read and enjoy stories. So our little secret, please leave a copy, please subscribe. And let's just keep going with getting more books and more awesome stories in our lives. All right. So thank you for listening again. And uh, we'll talk soon. Bye.